Hey, welcome back everybody. So I've been doing a ton of work to the Forerunner here and I wanna show you guys what I got going on. So let's take a look. So first things first, I finally got the, uh, the main box done. And this thing took so long, but I'm so glad it's done. I wanted it as simple as possible. I'm not even building drawers. I know a lot of people build all these fancy things. You know, drawers add weight and they add complexity and it's one more thing I have to do. These don't go that deep. You know, they're, they're deep enough where I can shove a ton of stuff in here, but they're not so deep that I can't reach the back. So worst case scenario, I just pull stuff off, put it on the bed to get under it. And the stuff I use the most is in the back, so no harm, no foul there. Uh, that system is working for me so far. And I blocked it off uh, back here, and I took the back seats out, obviously. And uh, it was really difficult. I had to go like 10 different hardware stores to find bolts to bolt um, this thing in where the seats used to be. But it's bolted down, and that is good. So a couple of the products I, I got that I really like, one is this Lifesaver Jerry Can. This has a water filter built into it, and you can pressurize it with this guy. And you can just press it once and a little water squirts out or you can press and twist and it'll stay on. So I've got running water and I can attach a hose to that and stick it out in the sun and take a shower with it if I want. And I don't have to run into town to get water. I can get water out of any stream, creek, lake, whatever. Uh, it's all good. Another one I got, which I really like, this company actually sent this out to me to try. Um, I absolutely love this thing. This is an electric water heater. If I had to, I could heat up a can of soup with this, but I really just heat up water with it you know, for dishes, and it's nice to have hot water to do dishes, and heating up tea, you know, heating up water for whatever. It, it does it in like five minutes. It uses like 500 watts, but only for like five minutes um, to heat up. So I can either run this off the inverter built into the Forerunner. If I have a lot of power, I can use my Blue Eddy, which I'll show you in a second. Another thing which is really cool, which I totally forgot to charge before this, is this little uh, Goal Zero Crush Light. This thing folds down. It's a lot easier to do with two hands, obviously. So it takes up little space. It's got a solar panel on it, and the light is nice and warm and kind of like candlelight. And it even has a setting that'll kind of flicker like, um, like a candle. It's just a really gentle, nice um, light. And it folds up really small, and it's easy to charge, and it's cool. These are the WeatherTech uh, window covers. These are pretty good. Uh, they fit really well. They were 200 bucks. I don't know if I'd spend that money Again, they do fit pretty good though. The backside was really shiny black and you could see it through the window. So I sprayed everything with uh, Plasti Dip. Wow, I remember that word. Let me uh, head over to the other side and show you what else I got going. So one of the considerations, uh, you know, actually two of the things I really wanted to, to like make sure were really important in this build is one, simplicity, and two, security. I wanted to make sure my expensive stuff was able to be locked down. So as I said, I've got this thing hard mounted to the body um, and it's really hard to get to the bolts. It, it would be a total pain in the ass to remove this thing. And that gives me a little extra security because I've got my uh, Blue Eddy AC 180 down here just floating underneath. Even if you pulled this out, you couldn't just pull this thing right out. This, um, this gets in the way. You've got to lift this up to get that out. So that's, uh, that's extra security, man. That's pretty rad. And a bunch of storage under here, which is cool. And obviously through here, this is kind of just a multi-use, you know, whatever I got to throw in there, I throw in. This thing, I've still got to get some, um, you know, I've got to get a way to attach this part to hold up the frame, but it's kind of okay without it. Now on the back here, one thing I totally missed is this insane molly panel. I love this thing. I can keep all my clothes up here. I can hang, um, and we'll get into these towels in a second. I love these nomadics towels. I can hang these guys up to this thing and roll down the back window. This back window rolls down all the way and dry out my towels in like five minutes. It's, it's incredible. I've got a fan mounted on the other side. I can mount lights to this, can mount all kinds of stuff. We've got my Wii Boost up here. This thing I also love. It's made a big difference, uh, especially in these, these mountain roads going to the coast. I used to have a ton of dead spots, but with these, I don't anymore. Um, so this is amazing. And actually, um, you know, I bought the two side panels and I absolutely loved them. I contacted the customer, the company said, hey, can you send me a shelf? I want to review this thing. I love this thing. And they sent me out a whole nother set. So if one of you guys wants the side pieces uh, without the shelf, let me know and um, I'll send them out. I've got my Ignic uh, little propane bottle. This thing, I love that it's in this zipped bag. It's got these molly panels on it so I can secure it. It's probably not the safest thing having it right here, but it's what I got for now until I figure something else out. Same company made the best heated blanket in the entire world. 
This is the Ignic. I don't remember what the model is called, but it's absolutely amazing. This side is the softest, nicest sleeping bag material. And this side is like a faux suede, so it doesn't fall off. I had a, um, oh, what are those, those, those puff blankets, those puff down ones, and it, I just couldn't get it to stay on me because it was so slippery. The whole thing was this material. So this stays put at night if you roll around a lot like I do. And um, on its own, it's a really well insulated blanket, does not breathe very well at all. So definitely not a summertime thing, um, unless you're in the desert, I guess. But the, the heated part is only down the center, so it's really extra warm. There's no like waste. At first I was like, oh man, I'd rather have the whole thing heated, but no, it's much better down the center, like third, because it really focuses on your body and does an amazing job. And it's got this really good controller too. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this Ignix stuff. It's really expensive, but dude, when you're living in a, in a car, like it's really nice to have good stuff that just works every time and is nice to use and you don't have to worry about it breaking and buying more junk all the time. So uh, totally worth the price for this and the, the propane thing, just for the really nice bag that it comes in. You can get the tank itself much cheaper, but yeah, got my uh, little fan up here. This thing is awesome. This charges off the uh, cigarette lighter adapter in the back that the Forerunner comes with. I'm working on this um, this thing. I need to cut it down a little bit, and then once I bolt it in, it'll kind of push itself up against the ceiling and not sag down like this. But yeah, um, that's a work in progress. So as you can see, if I wanted my fridge back here, I would either have to have it up front or I would have to cut down my mattress and have a smaller mattress or get a rooftop tent, but I definitely don't want to do that because urban camping in the city, like I'm going to be doing half the time, just not, not happening. So I've got my fridge up here and actually another benefit of it being up here besides having more room back there is these vents, when they kick on, they help keep down the condensation up front. You know, I'm, I'm out in the rainforest. Anything I can do to cut down on condensation is good. Um, and I can get food while I'm driving. So these ice co fridges, First of all, this thing looks badass. It totally matches the Forerunner thing. It looks tactical, it's blacked out, it's got these sharp edges. It opens this way, it opens this way, or you can grab both and pull the whole lid off, and it's, it's genius. I, I cannot say enough good things about this fridge. It's quiet, it's efficient, it's got badass heavy duty handles. I got this strapped down in the front and the seat belt going through the other side so this thing doesn't fly around if I roll over or get in an accident. But um, yeah, it even came with extra handles and they stay where you put them. They don't have springs on them that like clamp down and hurt your hands or anything. They just have a little bit of resistance so they stay exactly where you put them. I love this fridge. My mom bought it for me. Thank you, mom. I love this thing. This is awesome. So these things, man, this is the uh, Nomadics towel. These are made out of recycled plastic bottles, keeping them out of the ocean, making it one of the softest, most absorbent, fastest drying towels out there. I absolutely love these things. This is the full size one, which I'm 5'8", and sometimes when I get out of the shower, this thing ends up touching the ground, or like if I'm in a really tight bathroom, it might touch the toilet. It's hard to keep track of because it's so big. Um, so I ended up getting the mini one and I'm reserving that for like really nice big bathrooms where I have space. Cause if I'm like a planet fitness dude, if that thing touches the ground, uh, it's, it's gotta be washed. I don't want that on my body. This is the mini one and this is plenty to dry myself off after a bath or a shower, or going swimming or whatever. And it dries insanely fast. I cannot recommend these things enough. I am completely done with, um, with cotton towels. I, these are better in every way, every single way. Love them. Um, yeah, this is another thing that's completely changed the game for me. These are the spotter mirrors. I bought this off of uh, Forerunner Lifestyle and they have completely changed everything. So they have, this part is like the super wide, um, you know, mirror so you can see in your blind spot, you can see really far away. These are heated mirrors and this part is still heated as, as well as this one. And it's just in the perfect spot. It's the perfect width. It's not too tall. I, I love this. This is so much better than just getting one of those cheap little round ones from Napa or something. Totally worth the cost. Absolutely love these. I've got one on the other side too. Completely changed the game. I don't want to get into too much detail, but the only way to open this door is electronically. You have to 
electronically unlock it from one of the switches or the key fob, and then you have to electronically open the latch. The door switch up here is electronic. So you can put a switch between that, and then this thing is pretty goddamn secure. Somebody would have to spend a lot of time ripping this thing apart from the passenger seats or smashing in this window to get the stuff that's in there. It's, it's just not gonna happen in a smash and grab. That's, somebody's gonna need some serious time and really, really want it. The alarm's gonna be going off. Um, it's gonna be wild. There's also other switches you can add in other places so that if somebody wanted this truck, they would have to tow it, basically. Um, so there are things you can do with security. Getting everything out of sight helps a lot and just making it as hard as possible to steal stuff. Gives me the peace of mind that I can park at trailheads, go on hikes, go explore stuff. Everything I own is in this vehicle and I can feel pretty confident that um, nobody's gonna be messing with my stuff. So before I got everything built in and got the, um, got the main box in there and everything, I had the windows tinted really dark. The backs are all limo tint. It's ceramic tint too, so in the summer, it's gonna do a really good job of blocking out the heat. Um, and with this blackout curtain here in the black seats, the front windows are only 20%, so they're not that dark, uh, which is nice for driving at night. But it's just dark enough where if it's, you know, not full sun out or I have the windshield cover thing in, you can't see in the back at all. You just can't tell what's going on. It just looks like blackness, it just looks dark. So that's really cool. Nobody can see back there, even if I don't have the windows blocked. So the front of this, uh, this roof rack has this really cool flap right here. And if you turn this and do the same thing on the other side, it folds down, it's like on a hinge. So I can hide a, uh, a light bar. Some states, you're not supposed to have exposed light bars, so that can help keep me legal and just keep you know, the weather from damaging it over time. You know, the wind and everything. I have this uh, Apache rifle case up here, which this is a really nice handle to be able to like just step on the back wheel and get up there. But this rack also has these little holes right here so I can put side lights in there, which will be really cool at night. I'm definitely gonna do that eventually. I've got my little ladder back here, which is a really nice grab handle. Um, obviously I've got traction boards, a shovel, my WeBoost antenna, and that big spot up there is gonna be for a, um, a solar panel. I actually already have it, I just haven't mounted it yet. And the only thing I think I might change is either, either get rid of this and get a much bigger one so I can keep my chainsaw in here year round or figure out how to mount this on top of this and get another one that's, that's bigger. Um, I don't want that chainsaw inside. You know, it's got gas in it and it's, it leaks the, uh, the bar oil all the time. And I just don't want it inside, man. I don't want to breathe that stuff in every day. So I'm going to get it up here, but I got to make sure that it's locked in somewhere and it's not exposed to the weather. Um, cause it's going to be in there 24 seven. So that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with the build guys. It's, it's getting there. It's almost done. I think within the next month, I'll probably be living in it full time, uh, work another, I don't know, six months or so, and then hit the road. And, uh, right now I'm looking at Arizona. I'm not, uh, not hundred percent sure that's where I'm going to go, but the Pacific Northwest is hard to live in, in a vehicle like this. If I had a van, you know, where I could have a fireplace or a diesel heater or some way to stay warm and dry, it would be a lot easier, but I just don't want to hook up a diesel heater to this thing. It's just too much of a pain. And like the Propex propane heater, that won't really work either. I don't have the space for it. Um, I think I'm just going to head to somewhere that's, that's sunny and nice. And in Arizona, you can kind of go from Northern Arizona to South, North, South, North, South, and go with the weather and uh, do it that way. And I think that'll work for me. But uh, yeah, man, I do love this vehicle. So, I mean, look at it, dude. Look at that hood scoop, dude. It looks badass. I love this thing. See you guys.